Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. Today, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for multitasking in elementary OS. So, what do I mean by multitasking? Basically, what we're going to be going over here is window management and use of multiple workspaces with elementary, as well as keyboard shortcuts to make all of that more efficient for you. So we're going to start with uh, window managing tips, and honestly, the part that we're starting with here is one of many big reasons that I will never go back to Windows, because it is just so, so helpful. With a lot of GTK apps, mostly with GNOME, because they have the header bars at the top here where all the controls are integrated into the title bar of the window, a lot of people like to complain, because like with some of them, Let's, uh, let, let's take the file manager, for example. It, it, it comes across as like, okay, there's not a whole lot of places you can click to actually drag the window around to move it around. However, there is a very easy way to do so that is not exclusive to elementary by any means. It is also a thing on a lot of other desktops. If you just hold down your super key, otherwise known as the Windows key on most keyboards, you can click anywhere on the window and drag it around. Similarly, still while holding the super key down, if you right click, you'll resize the window. So you don't have to get your mouse like perfectly on the edge of a window. You can just hold down your super key and right click and drag. One of my favorite things about any Linux desktop is being able to do that because again, you can click wherever you want to on a window and you can move it around. As a bonus tip, if you press Alt and F7, your mouse will snap to whatever your active window is. You don't need to hold any buttons down, but you can still move it around just like that. And then if you do any left or right click, the mouse will let go and your window will be left there. Now those tricks that I just showed you, those are not visible on the elementary OS keyboard shortcut overview here, but honestly, the super key plus left mouse to move a window or right mouse to resize a window. I wish those were made more apparent in something like this because those are just so, so helpful to know. So very helpful. And then another odd thing, the Alt F7 to move the active window. It is something you can do, but it's not visible in any of the keyboard shortcut settings in elementary, which I wish it would be for a specific reason that I will get to later other than just it generally being useful. Next up, we're gonna get into some things that are, the features themselves are not necessarily elementary specific, but I will of course be going over elementary specific keyboard shortcuts for these. So first off, you can toggle a window to be maximized with super up, that'll toggle it back and forth. You can also do super control right and left to tile the window to the right side or the left side of the window. And worth mentioning, if you have one window tiled to the left and the other tiled to the right, you can resize it either by hovering your mouse over the center or with the shortcut I showed previously of super and right click, and they will resize to the left and right of your screen just like that. It is also worth mentioning, you don't have to do those with keyboard shortcuts. You can also just drag a window to the, to the top of your screen. You'll see a blue highlight fill your screen. That also works for the right and for the left. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is, again, not really an elementary exclusive feature, but different desktops have like their own implementation of this. Some of them just call it a workspace overview. In GNOME, it's the activities overview. In elementary, it is the multitasking view. Basically, that means access to multiple workspaces or virtual desktops so that you can have different windows that are catered towards one task on one workspace and then other windows that are on other workspaces for another. It is a great way to keep yourself organized with what you're working on. So. How do you access the workspace overview? On a fresh installation, you will see a multitasking view button on the far left side of your dock. If you click that, you are in the multitasking view. 
You can also do the super key and S to go in and out of multitasking view. You can also do super and down. This works with the super key on both the left and the right side of your keyboard. So if you're trying to do things one handed, you can just do right super and down. Otherwise you can do super and S, they both go to the exact same thing. Now as for actually navigating between your workspaces, you can either go into the multitasking view and scroll up or down on your mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can do super left or super right. And the keyboard shortcut for that also works outside of the multitasking view. So super left, super right. If you wanna move a window between your workspaces, make sure that it's active. You hold super and alt, and then you can do left, right to move it between workspaces. If you wanna quickly go to your first workspace, you can do super home. If you want to quickly go to a new empty workspace, you can do super end. It is also worth mentioning workspaces in elementary's multitasking view are dynamic. If we go back into the overview here, you can see there's a plus sign at the end here. If I open a new window, let's open the settings window here, and then I go back into the multitasking view, you will see that we do have another empty workspace automatically created. You can also click between workspaces with your mouse if you don't want to use a keyboard shortcut, and you can click out of it by clicking anywhere in the active workspace. If you have your workspaces very neatly organized and you know what number has what applications on it, you can do super and let's say three for example to go to your third workspace. Do one, two, four, five, and then six. For me in this case, we'll go to a new one. If you don't have a workspace, that like let's say I only have six open right now, if I do super seven, eight, or nine, that's not gonna do anything. It'll only go to that numbered workspace if you actually have that number workspace available. You can also quickly move a window to a specific workspace Similar to how you would move it otherwise, you do super and alt, and then you press the number of the workspace. So let's move the settings to workspace two. Your focus will not follow the window when you do it this way, but we can verify that the settings window is in fact on workspace two. While we're on the settings window, I do wanna show one other thing that is very helpful. If you either don't care for the keyboard shortcuts or if you just occasionally want to be lazy, if we go under desktop, and hot corners, by default, all of these are set to do nothing. However, you'll notice that I have my bottom left and bottom right hot corner set to activate the multitasking view. So if I'm just leaning back, relaxing, and I wanna go between workspaces quickly, I can click the multitasking view button, but let's say that I have a window really big and it's hiding my dock and I don't feel like making it visible to go activate the multitasking view, I can just go to either my left or my right hot corner, and I'll go in and out of the multitasking view. You do have other options for your hot corners. You can also have it maximize the current window, show the applications menu, show all windows, switch to a new workspace, or execute any custom command. This is not specifically a multitasking tip, but the hot corners can be very helpful. Now, one other thing that is worth mentioning that is also not explicitly shown on the keyboard shortcuts here but it is worth talking about. If you press super and A, you'll get an overview of all of your applications across all of your workspaces. If you press super and W, you see all of the windows in the current workspace. You may also notice that super W is very redundant with the multitasking view itself. And it actually also has less functionality because you can't move windows around from the window overview. You can select them to switch to them, but you can't really do much else with them. Whereas with the multitasking view, you can drag them around, you can drag them between monitors and drag them to other workspaces. You can't do any of that with the window overview. So... With that being so redundant, it makes sense that it's, you know, not even shown in the keyboard shortcuts, whereas Super plus A 
is actually helpful because you can see every window you have open no matter what workspace it's on. So if I click on App Center here, for example, it'll bring me over to the workspace that App Center is on. If I want to go back, I can just go back to settings. Super W is kind of useless because the multitasking view does the same, but more. So, earlier I showed off the Alt F7 shortcut to help move the active window around. The first suggestion that I have for the elementary team, expose that shortcut in the keyboard shortcut settings, and maybe change Super W to, instead of doing the redundant window overview, maybe have that by default set to what Alt F7 does now. That's just my personal suggestion, but at least exposing the Alt F7 functionality in the keyboard shortcuts, that by itself would be very helpful. One final tip that I did forget to mention, if you have multiple monitors, you do Window Shift to shift a window between your monitors. So in my case, that's gonna be left, and then window shift right. That is a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Most of them that I talked about are visible in the keyboard shortcut overlay on elementary, which you can get to by just hitting the super key by itself. Another way to, that I kind of think about it to help me remember is um, for the tiling, for example, you're gonna control the window to the left of the screen or the right of the screen. If you want to toggle maximizing, you're putting the window to fill up the screen or not fill up the screen. For moving between workspaces, you are moving your window to an alternate workspace to the right or to the left or a specific number. And as for the actual multitasking, you want to see your workspaces with all your windows. Super S. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any other helpful multitasking tips for elementary OS, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But until next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A workspace overview, that general concept. Angry parking dog outside.